didn't enjoy Much Ado About Nothing as much as I thought or hoped I would. This is a 1953 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Chuck Jones and written by Michael Maltese. And we have Mel Blanc voicing this squirrel, doing the sound effects of this squirrel. And it sounds quite cute. We have this little squirrel who is trying to bring these nuts to its tree. And there are various obstacles in the way. And ultimately, he is trying to move this coconut. And needless to say, coconuts are very large. It's not necessarily something a small squirrel should be able to just grab, all, grab hold of very easily and drag around with him. And that causes a lot of problems. And in theory, hilarity ensues. But honestly, I didn't find it that entertaining. I didn't find that a lot of the obstacles he came across um, to be that fascinating. They weren't boring. They weren't bad. I just didn't find them as engaging as I usually do with this kind of animation from Warner Brothers. And something else as well is that I didn't think the squirrel was very well animated. And it's not very often, not unheard of, but not very often that I will feel that way about a Warner Brothers cartoon. Usually they're very well animated, well edited, everything flows together, everything looks really kind of streamlined and seamless. But with this one, I just felt like it it didn't feel like a Warner Brothers animation. The narrative did, to a pretty good extent, but the quality of the animation just wasn't... I just didn't feel like it was up to its usual standard. The squirrel doesn't look like a Warner Brothers squirrel, in my opinion. He doesn't look terrible, but I feel like the animation style is slightly off. Certainly compared to you know, other Warner Brothers characters. So that was something that I noticed pretty much straight away. Maybe that then affected my opinion of the rest of it as I was constantly just thinking, well, this squirrel doesn't look like what I expected. In terms of the squirrel's movements, he moved very well. His movements were very believable. I just didn't care for the character. I didn't care for him. I didn't think he was cute. I didn't think he was particularly well animated. Definitely not my favourite character. The short didn't really do too much for me. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it, and I wouldn't even say I found it boring. I just didn't find anything in it to be that interesting for me. So, if you're a Warner Brothers fan, I recommend it so that you've seen everything we've done. But in general, it's not one that I'd say is worth putting to the top of your to-watch list. 